Doodle bud. Care to play a game? We're gonna play What's in the Box. I only know about five more seconds into the future than you do right now. I got this pen, took it out of the bag, it just arrived from Israel, opened it, looked inside, and went, oh, that's really nice. I should save this, and that's all I've done so far. So what's in here? First, let's move this out of the way. Pilot. We have an old style box. Fortunately, they're not calling this vintage yet, because this is from the 90s. And when I opened it, it's new old stock. So let's, let me get the tripod set up here. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at this. Just that gold and the blue. Uh-huh. So this, it's like, I didn't even want to, I haven't even picked it up. This is my first time picking up. I have not taken it out of the bag. New old stock. We got a Pilot Capless from Japan. The tag is still on there. Never, never been inked. The price of this one was like the same as just a brand new Pilot Capless. And I've wanted one of these, usually from like the 60s or 70s or whatever. Oh, it's still sealed. Damn. Oh, God, do I even open this? Or do I have to. There, there is a whole lot of these. Like, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the eBay that I got it from. Um, I think there was like 30 of each. The numbers are, they, the bunch of them sold out quick, but there are still some left. But this is really, I mean, maybe they sealed that themselves. I don't know. But that's, that's as new old stock as you get. I would think they sealed that because in the store, you would have like a flip over flap so someone could try it out. You shouldn't have to tear the bag each time. Yeah, and they got their sticker. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna tear it. I'm gonna tear it. That's, this is not an original Pilot bag. Oh yeah, definitely not original. Pilot would make it very easy to take the pen out and how to start writing. Okay, so I don't feel so bad. Let's have a quick little inspection here, see what we got. Oh, that looks, I mean, as close to flawless as you get. I've always wanted one of these faceted ones. I have my regular vanishing point right next to me here to compare. Should we click it? I had to get the right angle. This could be the first time this pen has ever been clicked. Let's see. Oh, that's a different feel from the regular capless. Very different. I like it a lot more. That is a pop, pop, real snap, snap kind of click. The thing I really like about these, the faceted is neat. I know they have the new Moon Man. So there's the Moon Man A1, which, which copies the regular vanishing point. The A2 is faceted and a plastic body but you're like oh it's the same thing then no what i really like about these older ones is the clip into the nose piece here it's all one piece all one shot let me show you the uh the current ones okay you see the difference now you have this part and the clip fits into it this is all one solid piece now it's you know this is more cost savings but one piece like that, that just looks so much slicker. And the front end too, I just like the profile more. See, they got like this from the clip there. I don't know. I think it just looks, I think, again, I think it's Vintage Pilot for the win. My Vintage Pilot Elite is one of my absolute favorite pens. Let me pull that out real quick. Here we go here. So this is the Vintage Pilot Elite. The new one's the E95S. So how, you know, how nice do those look together? Same kind of style. This, the, this one's older. This is like seventies, I think. Yeah. In the seventies, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like the vintage pilot more with these pens by far. Put a white background just to get a little bit better contrast. Let's just give it a quick once over, see some of the, the fine details. So we got Japan on there and you can see all that stuff. I don't need to tell you what you can see here through the camera, all the right branding. That looks so much nicer. Well, so let's crack this open now here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So plastic on those threads. They are a bit grindy. I'm a little disappointed with that. So that's something I'm going to be mindful of. You got this brass. That's interesting. They didn't do it further down or something and then extend the threads down. I guess that probably holds in the click mechanism. Yeah, that's the stopper for that. And you got to, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, um, I might lubricate those or something. I'll see. I just, I don't want it to, uh, I don't want these to wear out. We do have a stop there. 
But uh, yeah, looking how they did this, the very economical way to do it. But, oh, the focus, one second. Okay, there we go. That's the part that concerns me. It's just that sharp edge when it comes in. Because get, this gets cut out. And uh, yeah, you just leave a bit of a sharp edge. I just don't want that digging in into these threads here, these poor little threads. But anyways, okay, I'll got to think about that. We got the nib unit. It's got the sack converter with it. Looks like it's even dusted like the sack. Yeah, this has never been used. Look at that. Absolutely pristine. I'm going to use it. This I, I got to. How do you not use this pen? I'm not in the collector stage where I get stuff just to have it and just look at it and appreciate it. There's nothing wrong with that. Those folks that you do that, the restraint you have is amazing. Does this pop out? Okay, there we go. It's just a little... Wow. Never been used. A little bit different from the current ones. This feels... Man, this is way nicer than the current ones. The current ones are way flimsier. Pilot, if you watch this, go back to your old design. It's better. Probably cost a little bit more, but it's better. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Looking good. Let's get out the uh, the modern one and just see some of the differences. Okay. we Obviously, we got metal body. You know, so that's okay. Um, yeah, these threads, it's a better thread for having less kind of sharpness going on to it. You can see the thread profile has changed. And they've rounded those over and smoothed them out. So they've improved that for sure. Uh, let's look at the nib units. I don't know where my squeeze converter is. Oh, you know what? It's in my Pilot Elite. So we can convert. That'll be nice. Yeah, you can see the little crimp that they do. That's changed over time a little bit. It's closer to the bottom, a little bit slighter, different profile. This is actually the, the profile is improved. That's a better crimp than the vintage ones. The vintage one still works. Uh, a little, yeah, little differences in the taps and stuff like that. But overall, let's get you up close to the nibs. There we go. They're both fine. We'll compare the fine writing sample. I've changed this from a medium to a fine. But that looks very, very close. I know, like, the new ones are coated. We got black, so it's tough to really see. But overall, what about the feed? Wow. I, th I think it's identical. The crimp, you can see how they do that, how it folds over. We got, like, two dog tags there, the dog ears or whatever you should say. And one big one there. So that's changed a little bit. They, I think this one is eighth generation, the new old stock here. Okay, here's the new little, the Con B, I think they call it, for like bladder. So you can see a little bit different style. I wouldn't be surprised that the sack is very similar, but you just do this and they squeeze together. This is cheaper to manufacture. Let me pull it out. I don't know. There's, there is ink in here. Yeah, that's a more cost effective. Oh, that's very simple to do this here. So you just have this piece of steel, this gets spot welded on, goes over top, boom, you're done. That's so economical. Now there's nothing wrong with companies doing it. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to review your processes and refine. And if it's just as good and it saves you some money, there's nothing wrong with that. That's business. I do like the feel of this mechanism more. It just, it, it feels more vintage too, like compared to vintage pens, but that little Okay, enough of that. Let's just, let's do this, everybody. Let's ink this pen. We got to see the first click. Let me just, I want to line this up. I just, how do you not line up the notches when you do that? Like, how could you sleep at night if they weren't aligned? You couldn't fall asleep knowing you did that. Anyways, yeah, let's just, let's take that off. Oh, is it going to get destroyed? Oh, no, I can get it off without destroying it. Okay. And you can feel the glue in the tag is just gone. It's all crusted over those types of years. Give me a second. It was super tough to get that off. So for any folks out there that like want to see up close on the tag, there you go. I am going to nerd out and put that back in the box for safekeeping. All right, we're going to ink it up. You might as well use Pilot. We got the Namiki Blue. It's a cool bottle. I got this a little while ago. I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon. By the way, like, look, um, it's just a way to help support the channel. If you're going to buy something, if you just buy it through there instead of, you know, having to directly send me something as a thanks or whatever, Amazon will pay me, I don't know, whatever, 2% or something. So I'd rather come at, have it come out of their pocket uh, than yours or something like that. So anyways, yeah. So if you click how it works with Amazon while I ink this, is if you click on one of my links, 
Um, it's not even if you buy that thing, but if you, even if you buy something else within, I think it's 24 hours, I get a tiny little bit. I'm having troubles with US or if in the US I'm supposed to earn a little something, I'm not getting anything. So I have been trying to get that fixed, but they just don't tell me anything. So whatever is what it is. That little bit helps every now and then make a couple bucks here or there. I think the most I've made off Amazon so far is $25. <laughs> so it's not exactly huge, but whatever. Pays for shipping on a pen like this or something. All right, we're ready. Let's put that in there. Oh, I click it so it goes back up. There we go. Oh, come on, you line up there. Yes, the only thing I'm not a fan of is just that thread into that. So I'm going to be very gentle. I'll probably get a little grease on there, maybe. Yeah, that is more comfortable in the hand than the current model. Current model is okay. I don't do good, do good writing with the current one. With the new ones, they're great for notes and stuff. Uh, but for whatever reason, it uh, maybe because it's it's heavy too with the weight, so maybe the the new plastic ones are better. But it's great and all. Uh, the convenience is amazing, all that stuff. But when it comes to doing nice writing, a nice cursive, this isn't a pen that that just does well for me. The Vintage Pilot Elite, oh, I totally go for it. Um, but this one, yeah, that that feels better already. All right. Let's just, let's, let's write, you know, before I do that, don't mean to tease you here, but I am just curious. I'm curious on weight. So 31, 36, and that's, yeah, 18 and a half. Okay. I line these up side by side at the front there. Very close. This one's just a tad shorter, but that's just all in the button. Here we go. Here is the, uh, the base date blue that I just recently did. Let's go underneath that. I figured you might as well hear the click. Here we go. Let's see out of the box. Never been used. Will it write first time? Let me get a focus. Oh, it fires up right away. Color is a little sad and disappointing, especially underneath the base state. I will not put it in there, but uh, I'll play around a little here. Of course, a very different writing experience between all of them. I'm still getting used to this new guy here, right? It's it's lighter. It just it feels different in the hand. The nib feels different. So, but it does write extremely well. Hasn't missed anything. There's no skipping, hard starting, rough spots. Nothing. The nib is perfect. I'll, I'll get an up close with the little microscope attachment. Um, so far, this is still my favorite to write with. But I'm getting used to this one. This feels nice. This feels great too. I'm gonna write some more with the other paper show you that real quick afterwards and then i'll wrap this up give you my thoughts on this brand new pen i had a minute to focus and play around now and let me tell you what i found my first and foremost my best writing is never on camera it's off camera trying to get things positioned for the shot and my arms coming at the wrong angle and i'm trying to do it the focus goes it's the worst way to try to write so anyways here we go muji paper again they don't have all the same ink but uh as I wrote more and more, like it, it works just perfectly and doesn't skip or nothing. I do find if we get close to the writing sample um, between the two vanishing points, I find I can control the pen a little better. Like I can get those quicker lines, a little more ch -ch 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 blockier and just the transitions. It, it does feel easier to work with the vintage one. Well, I shouldn't say vintage, 90s, 90s vanishing point. I'll tell you why. But still, Pilot Elite is my favorite. And it's quite comfortable. Like, it's not like the other one isn't. But uh, it's the nib. It just, you can get those cool little, like, look how thin that little hairline is. On this tiny little pen, it pulls off these just really, really cool characteristics. Let's go to the other paper. Of course, on the Regalia, everything just feels better and looks better. The, even the, the ink doesn't look as bad there, too. But... Yeah, really, really nice. I, it, it just feels miles different. You got to get some of this if you haven't tried it. Just try it out once. I really, really enjoy it. The same thing, though, with uh, just precision stuff. I'm a little more tidy, a little bit neater 
with this vintage one and then finally on the Rhodia same thing I'm just playing around you know I just I've had this pen as long as you've been watching this video that's how much time I spent with the pen right but same thing I'm just look at the ends on the vanishing just in general again this isn't my best stuff I'm just blasting through it but I seem you, you seem to have better control with it now the reason for that switching hands here live as I'm recording wow multitask is it all has to do with the clip now people don't like the clip sometimes on these it's not a deal breaker for me but of course it would be better if it wasn't there but it's it's the swoop see how much higher that clip goes that clip profile versus this one here on the on the older one like it's just sleeker and, and smoother it doesn't have that kind of bow up so as much in the middle in the body it's a little more flat a little more linear this has a little bit of a curve to it a little bit longer here on the modern one so it's a little thinner the facets sort of help but the big big one is that clip profile that actually makes a massive it may not look like a massive difference here but when you grab it the width too see how it's wider on that clip it, it kind of goes out this one's a straight shot back a little thinner so uh, in my opinion at least i've had this pen for all of whatever 15 20 minutes where this video is going to be uh, i do enjoy this one more if anything it has just solidified the thought I've been having recently is I prefer older pilot pens to the new ones. The new ones, they work fantastically and they're very well built. Like again, I can't say anything bad about this one. My Pilot 823, just like all my pilot pens work fantastic. But when it comes to writing, I don't know. Again, once again, for me, the older pilot pens just seem to do it better. Okay, I have to show you this. This is a pretty important uh, detail on here. So you can see this is the modern one. There's a little hook there of wire that goes through. And that's part of the spring mechanism, how this, how you feel the spring mechanism. Okay, check out this old one. There's a legit spring. So you got the trap door. And see that? You can see it in here. There's the spring, the coil. Let me turn the flash off. I think it's too bright. Okay, I'm trying to show this to you here, but here is the older one. See that coil? That's actually a spring. So you can see it depressing in there. So there's a little spring that's vertical up and down, and that trap door compresses that little spring. Here are both the nibs out of the ends of the pen, too. You can just see this profile here is a lot different. It seems to be much tighter fit on the older one. Now I am curious overall what that means for nib dry up. If this mechanism they have there is uh, is better or not as good as the more refined modern one. I think this spring mechanism, like it's kind of neat seeing the coil spring in there, but this, this is a better mechanism for a modern one. Let's have a quick look at the nib. So this is old school. Okay, you can just feel how much lighter this pen is in the hand. It'll be tough because the uh, the new one it's black. That looks a little bit sort of stout, just, just a little stockier almost, that build there. Very, very nicely well done there. The slit is perfectly in the dead center. Let's check the tines. They're aligned. Fantastic. Yeah, everything's parallel, no canyoning. Looks really, really good. Let's uh, have a look at a modern one. The modern one, uh, I mean, it looks fairly similar. Slightly different here on the side, but not too radically different. Yeah, it, pretty close. I'd say the uh, just the end, very end tip rounding profile is a little different on the older ones. Let's check alignment. Oh, it's actually out of touch. You know, you, you don't really feel it because when you push down on the paper, that tine that's down will just kind of come back up. But the slit is perfect. Everything's parallel. Uh, seeing that now, though, I will just tweak this a touch. The modern boxes, they are built a little better, although like totally different style but you can see all those little how those corners are done they cut them out and they bend them in and you know you can see you got some pokey edges there around the sides and stuff but it is it's a cute little box i do like it but anyways i'm done so uh i'm just gonna shut this sucker down i'm now just gonna spend some time with the pen playing with it writing with it leave it there again if you want to support the channel some of the links down there i, I make a couple bucks if you buy something and uh that's all i got should i do a few glam shots to end it maybe i'll tag that onto the video maybe i won't either way we'll catch you next time <laughs>